Hello there, earlier in the year I was exploring some brownie berry lip glosses and promised a brown lipstick video after some requests. So I held on until the weather cooled down in the Northern Hemisphere, so hopefully you're in the mood for some milk and dark chocolate. I've shared previous videos on brown glosses and tinted balms, so this time I'm letting sheer, matte and satin lipsticks shine with a dozen delicious brownie cocoa colours for fall slash autumn. Exploring shade variations, so hopefully you find your brown, true brown, brownie mauve, brownie berry, brownie rose. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, the best place to make a speedy, stylish website. You can find more seasonal inspiration, previous black honey, brown toned glosses and tinted balm shade groups in blog posts on matildronvideo.com, plus some major glossier shipping news that dropped last week. More on that later. If brown lipstick is outside your usual colour comfort zone, a sheer is an approachable, subtle starting point to slightly deepen your lip colour. Of course, the queen of colour and nuanced lipstick tones, Lisa Eldridge, had to appear here. Her luxuriously lucent lipsticks are one of my favourite sheer formulas, full stop. That's a separate topic, still need to share an updated sheer lipstick list. Earlier this year, when I was in a Daisy Jones mindset, brown nude Meet Me in Berlin came in handy. A tan brown that can be a subtle satin with one swipe or layered. Just saw Jamie Page wearing this. Lisa's luxuriously lucent lipstick in Painterly is a deeper red chocolate relative, a chiaroscuro bitten lip tint inspired by artist pigments, or if you prefer a food reference, it's like a chocolate brownie recipe with raspberries in it instantly shows you how much choice you have in the brown lip world to suit your skin colour, undertones and style. Light, smooth, so comfortable. Speaking of comfortable sheer lipsticks, Merit Signature Lip claimed top spot for me in the last couple of years. An ideal sheer lightweight lipstick I cannot resist and 1990 is the darkest in the range. A deep brown that's a warm milk chocolate in the context of Lisa's shades. It makes a bit of red in Meet Me in Berlin stand out more. Balmy and buildable, not as bold as Lisa's pigments, so it will stay fairly sheer and never looks too stark. Continuing the theme of balmy sheer formulas and Le Bon by Les Fillons Rouge, the beauty arm of French fashion brand Rouge, is a great option. A balm lipstick hybrid, closer to a satin matte regular sheer lipstick. It's not melty, but it is balmy and buildable. BB is a beautiful pinkish brown, rosy brown people right over here. Again, seeing the color in the context of the others really highlights those warmer rose tones. Oh, you want more sheer and balmy bullets? I got you. Glossier Ultra Lip also introduces a glossier element, fitting. A lot more shine and slip here. You can see Trench, a light toffee brown in my Everyday Summer Lip video, but Caché is a deeper walnut brown, according to the brand. This is the most traditional dark lint chocolate sort of shade so far, but if you stick to one swipe, it has a bit of black honey, dark berry, lip enhancing energy. Ultra Lip's older sister, Glossier Generation G, is where we farewell balmy textures and climb matte mountain. This is a sheer, blotted, lived-in lip. Leo is called a neutral cocoa brown, but I've always thought of it as a warm milk chocolate, only a little richer than Merit 1990. I do find Gen G a bit dry, layering lip balm underneath is essential, but at this point, mine's so old, I don't know if it's the current formula. I'll be revisiting these in the US soon. Whatever the video theme, you can bet I'll find a way to work in a Bobbi Brown crushed lip colour. They just suit every occasion and the soft matte, buildable, comfy texture wears so well without any fuss. A few different chocolate options, but Coco is called a cool brown. Recently got into this one. It actually taps into the rosy brown Rouge BB zone. Natural, my lips but better hint of brown. Great segue into the stronger matte and satin lipsticks because you can build this, but I love a couple of subtle swipes too. If the sight of those Glossier tubes breaks your heart because the brand isn't available where you live, do I have news for you? Just a few days ago, Glossier suddenly started shipping internationally. You can find the details on my blog, matildaonvideo.com. Never thought I'd see the day. Squarespace's simple, no coding necessary blogging tools mean I can very easily jump back in and update previous posts, like my how to get Glossier in Australia tips. After nine years of waiting and finding other options, it's now a much simpler answer, straight from their website. I will be updating my Glossier favorites video in the new year too. If you're 
interested in starting a blog, Squarespace offer a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Moving right along to some major Matt Browns. Lisa Eldridge is back, of course, some stunning Coco creations in her True Velvet range. Velvet Sorcery is called a medium dusky clay rose, but to me, it belongs in the brown conversation too. When Lisa said this borrowed some cool toned mauve magic from the 90s, she has to be talking about practical magic, right? Add this rosy brown to your witchy Halloween costume list that you'll actually wear afterwards too. The ultimate Lisa Brown is Velvet Decade. This launched in an autumnal berry brown group a few years ago, still one of my favorite Lisa collections. This deep chocolate includes blue and red undertones, so it's not a flat, dull brown. I hate to say it, but I see that dark blackberry, black honey tone again. Highly pigmented, velvety mattes that do have matching glosses too, if you'd prefer a dialed down version of Decade or Sorcery. Another matte formula you probably know I'm going to talk about given the state of my swatching video is Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution, a top three comfy matte lipstick for me. This one is still called Birkin Brown in my mind and on the label, but it's now known as So 90s. I always thought of this as a true dark brown, but some red berry tones are there when you see it with the others. 90s drama or a really chic, deep stain sheared out. I'd also like to throw in Charlotte Tilbury K-I-S-S-I-N-G, her creamy satin formula, in Pillow Talk Intense. Original Dusty Rose Pillow Talk always gets all the attention, but the Intense version was designed to be a more flattering fit on deeper skin, but works for everyone. It's called a berry rose, but I think of it as a warm, medium slash dark brown with red currant or some cinnamon spice sprinkled on top. Ready brown with a sheen. Last but not least, an excellent everyday softer satin brown from Chanel's Fall 2022 Rouge Allure shade range, which is luckily still available because the whole group was gorgeous. Alter Ego is a medium brown with warmer, rosy tones, so it ends up looking like a very natural lip boosting brown on me. Perfect kind of work lipstick or a slightly autumnal twist on easy daily shades you'd usually reach for in your bag. Creamy, light and luxurious. Please join the chocolate conversation and share your favorite brownie lipsticks. Be specific on the types of brown tones you go for, or maybe it's not your cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate, whatever's more appropriate for this color theme. Let me know if there are any other lipstick color families you'd like me to do a deep dive on in future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.